on the uh, on the third day, uh, I passed out. I, I guess there's a second day. I passed out earlier. It was the day we were going to Jamaica, but we would wake up on the third day. So on the second day, uh, everyone kind of took it easy except for me. I was going to see Tank. The, the second night, I guess I just passed out earlier, but apparently Sean came in so fucking drunk. He pissed all over all of my shit. Like, everyone's shit. He tried to sleep on this fucking thing, like on the, on the counter instead of the bed. And it was like horrible. I slept through all this shit, but I wake up in the morning and he's done, like toast. And we, like, I wake up to a phone call and I'm like laying on the phone already, you know? So I'm trying to figure out how to answer this thing and it's security when I get it. And they say, hey, we need to see you guys down here immediately. So it's like, okay, hey, yeah, sure. And I'm going through my fucking head, like, oh my God, is this from pissing in that fire thing? You're going through every every horrible thing that you did, you know? What is worthy of, you know, getting kicked off the boat or whatever, whatever the fuck? Am I gonna get thrown in the brig? Like, it terrified. So when I uh, went up going down, uh, I get taken into the, the security room, the back room, and uh, it's the head of security that we're dealing with, and he asks me, he says, uh, this actually isn't about last night it's about the night before he said maybe uh maybe you tried something a little bit different you know and he's like an indian guy i had a really hard time not laughing at him but uh <laughs> i'm like no I don't, I don't know what you're talking about and i knew it was about that fucking dog you know and he's like maybe something with a, a dog you know so uh they were totally pissed that we smashed this dog he was like all, all of a sudden this other guy comes out and just lays these pictures down on the desk and it's this fucking dog all smashed up and shit and so I was like, yeah, sorry, whatever. They, they were threatening to uh, put us in the brig or confine us to our rooms. They wouldn't let us off the boat to go to Jamaica uh, until Jamaican police came on to deal with us. So we were stuck in our rooms or whatever. We agreed to pay for the dog, which I assumed to be some ludicrous price, like $500 for this fucking paper mache dog, whatever. I was like, you know, give me half an hour and some glue. I'll figure it out, you know. But, uh, the, the Jamaican police, they were nice, but it was pretty intense, you know, there's like one, uh, the one was standing there in uniform, there's two detectives with their things, you know, and they're totally first grilling it. That's what I'm saying, it was for a statue here, and, and like this, it like, they were referring to it as an artifact as well, you know, he's like, we have to get the artifact appraised so we know what it's going to cost, and he's like, what, dude, if you're talking about a paper fucking mache dog, this is fucked. But, uh, they tried to, uh... They try to insist that we pay for it right at that minute. I guess it has something to do with it because we're in Jamaican jurisdiction, you know. But we got off with that because we're bound by contract with what we signed to get on the boat to uh, to pay for it. So they let us off. It was cool. And uh, we figured that was it. When we got off the boat and we got the bill, we had to pay $2,500 U.S. dollars for this fucking paper dog. You know, like there's this guy beside me that's complaining because his roommate, they charged him 20 bucks because his roommate drank the pop out of the fucking mini fridge or whatever, out of the mini bar, you know. And we were sitting there like arguing about $2,500 for this fucking dog. Sean ended up paying it, so it let us off, but it was a total ludicrous amount, like way more insane. 